Good day, I'm Chen Yinghua from Jiangsu University, China. So today, what I want to talk with you about the paper which named Public Demand for Information Disclosure of Public Health Emergencies. What I want to talk about is based on the Cardinal model. So this is the contents about my presentation. There is includes four parts. The first part is a very brief introduction about the background and uh, uh, literature review of this paper. And then I will, do, I will do a very short introduction of the theoretical model and uh, some my research design. Then the third part is the data analysis and discuss and then I will give the um, con conclusion of this paper. So. First part, introduction of the background and the literature review. This part I will just pass it very quickly since all of us are very familiar with the situation we are facing up now. So this, during the COVID-19, so there, there's a lot of the rumor, they, they, they rise up and they spread. So during the spread of this period, they were, they were, all of us know that the rumors will do great harms to the social stability when public health emergencies happen if the information disclosure by the government could not match the need of the patient, public. So in such situation, we, we just choose this topic to start our research. Here we will, we will find some literature about it. The literature first part is about the disclose information information disclosing and then the information disclosure in public health emergencies our past age very quickly so and then we'll find that the basic basic point is just about the information supply and information demand how to match the two sides so since uh, consider of that we find the the red core model is, I think that all of us are very familiar with it, especially when we talk about the quality service, it's the kernel model. In the kernel model, we will find there are five kinds of lines which, which were called must be quality, one dimensional quality, attractive quality, indifferent quality, and the reverse quality. So in this paper, we will just use these five kinds of quality and define it and consider of the public health emergencies. Here we will find must, must be quality, we will use M to testify it, and one dimensional quality, uh, attractive quality, and different quality and reverse quality. All of us know that here, what the most important is the must be quality, one dimensional quality and attractive quality. Here is the explain of the age, our past age. So when we start the design of this research, we design such kind of tables. Here we will use the five different uh, scales to describe it. We will find it. And here also uh, the index is, we, we, also, we also find the satisfaction coefficient. We use SI. The dissatisfaction coefficient, we use DSI to describe it, and the importance of demand, we use ID to describe it. Here is the calculation formula of the three index, we will pass it. So now we start now the data collections. In actually, this research was done last year, especially in the 2020. So at that time, we used um, two months to start the collect the collected that data. The government we used the government homepages, the WeChat, the Sina blog to collect it, and then also we designed the questionnaires and uh, data. It. Then we start our data analysis. We used the we were past it. Here I will show some the data analysis and the the, the process of it. So during such kind of the design, we will find that the cons uh, there are we, we use the through seven channels, twenty contents, 
and a total of 27 questions uh, to, to start in our question nine there's here we are find we are also can combine uh, can can uh, classify it into different types the first type the we call it type one is the real time information about covid 19 which has been supplied to the public and then we, we classify it into different uh, index contents and then code it, code them from C1, C2, C3, C4, and then here is the type two. Type two is scientific knowledge information about COVID-19, which has been supplied to the public, and they also code them from C5 to C9. Type three is the information on the treatment and isolation of suspected cases that have been disclosed and they were coded by from C10 to C30. Type 4 is the information on epidemic con con control that has been disclosed to the bar public, which are coded from C14 to C17. And then type 5. Type 5 is materials and the personnel assistance information that have been disclosed to the public. They were coded from C18 to C20. And then type 6. Type 6 is the information disclosure channels that have been provided here because here from type 6 it is the channels, not the contents. So the code will change the code to M. So they were coded from M1 to M7. Here, then we will show the validate, uh, reliability and validity tests. They, they are passed. Here also the that data, some data, they, they were analysis, we passed it. Here also, we show the different kind of qualities. Here you will find this part is the what must be quality and then one dimensional quality and attractive quality in, dif in different quality. Here is also we did the analysis from the satisfaction, dissatisfaction, uh, coefficient. Here the figures show them. And here also we're tested. And then I will use some, some time to give the brief conclusion of our research. First, we will find that we must implement hierarchical and classified management of information disclosure. Here, first, first is the prioritize basic needs. Is since since that is also we can find is is in the must be dimension. Is the very basic needs we must first to match it, and then is the about the. Uh, expectations is actually we should must expectations we should focus on the information such as external risk of the epidemic treatment and environment aid materials and etc and then we should focus on meeting the glamorous needs and then for a moderately meet indifferent needs is the what the very short very brief conclusion from our data analysis. And then next, we should improve the standard, standardized in the information release system. And, it, and then, so we, we can do it from the different two kind of ways. And then the third one is construct a feedback mechanism for public demands and the government supply about information disclosing. So this kind of the mechanism is really very, very important when we want to improve the quality of the uh, public information list. And the four, we actually innovate the media and the form of information disclosed is really also very important. And th this, this is a very brief uh, conclusion of our research. Thank you very much. That's all.